All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So this is gonna be a fun and interesting one. So the past week for Xbox fans has been uh, kind of rough to say, kind of rough to say the least, right? Um, there was the Xbox, you know, uh, outage, Xbox Online outage and DRM situation that uh, triggered, you know, a big conversation. And I think that happened like, you know, last weekend and it and it went into this past week. And then, the you know, during this past week, uh, they had learned about the Xbox um, game delays, uh, the delay of Red Fall and Starfield, which was a huge hit. And now in this video, um, we're going to talk about the Xbox ambassador program. OK, so <clears throat> where do I start? There's been a lot of frauding going on lately just in the gaming industry and there there always is right but it's been illuminated and it's and it's not even necessarily with the gamers you know on the ground you know there's a, a whole bunch of you know fake gamers and stuff like that but it's we've seen it more with people closer to the industry uh you know a, a lot of pretending a lot of posing and it's just odd and weird right so we're going to talk about this Xbox ambassador, and I'm going to switch to my uh, other screen right here. One second. Let me just open this up because we got to follow the we got to follow the breadcrumbs with this one. OK. We're going to follow the breadcrumbs. So. Yesterday, and this is obviously in response to the Starfield and Redfield delay. This uh, this person, um, Miss Deus Geek, responded to all the criticism that Phil Spencer is getting, right? And if you listen to Weapon Will podcast yesterday, we had Randall Thor, you know, the man with the million. Shout out to Rand. One of the things he said is, you know, Phil, because you know he he talks to Phil Spencer, right? And one of the things Rand says is, listen, Phil Spencer does not need anybody to defend him. It's just not necessary. Phil is a, is a grown man. He's a big boy. He's the head of Xbox. He can take the criticism. Just like when he does something right, he deserves the praise. When he does something wrong, he deserves the criticism. That's how it works. When you're the head of something, when you're in charge of something, you get criticism. It's, it's, the, it's the same for everybody. Like, look, I'm, I'm the host of Weapon Wheel, right? Of course, that's nowhere near the, you know, the magnitude of being the head of some type of company or, you know, billion uh, trillion dollar, uh, you know, organization. But the same principle remains when something is wrong with Weapon Wheel. When people have a problem, who do they blame me? Who do people come to me? It's they don't go to they don't go to, you know, um, they don't go to Jack. They don't really go to Bonnie they ain't going to Blanche. They ain't going to Kids Move. They're going to BG. That's how things work because you're you're in charge. You're the one that leads, right? That's that's just how it works. And she made these stupid excuses for Phil Spencer. Um, number one, can you lead and, and manage one of the biggest brands in the world with hundreds of staff and moving pieces? This logic is so stupid because to make to make the to propose that you can't criticize something just because you're not doing it or you're you're not capable of doing it is insanity. You can if somebody's not getting a job done, you can criticize their failure to get that job done regardless if you can do it or not. That's completely irrelevant to the matter. If you hire somebody to do a job, I don't know, a plumber, a a, a plumber, a um a, a Carpenter, I don't know why carpenter. I'm just naming trades. Plumber, carpenter, uh, a mechanic, whatever. If you hire them to do a job, right? And of course, no, we're not necessarily hiring Phil Spencer, but you know, people put money into Xbox through Game Pass, buy their games, they buy the console. That's still putting money into them. So if you pay somebody to do a job, you give them money for a service, right? Doesn't matter if I know how to like, you know, uh, snake a drain or fix a car or you know lay carpet or, or whatever if you don't get the job done or the job is not done well it doesn't matter if i can do it that's be it's not my job it's yours that's your profession 
Phil Spencer's job is to make sure that these products are delivered and delivered well. So he should be criticized when that is not done. That's it. So that logic she's using, stupid and idiotic and dumb, pointless. Then she says, number two, the pandemic affected everybody. Yeah, it did affect everybody, but everybody is still finding, finding a way to still deliver products such as PlayStation, such as Nintendo, right? And, and once again, the delay is not even the problem here. We said this on what the delay is not the delay itself of Starfield and Redfall is not the problem. The problem is you had nothing else in case this delay happened. There's nothing that we know of right now. Maybe listen, I got I got faith that Phil Spencer is a smart guy. He know he, he has to move heaven and earth to do whatever he can to have something for E3 to let to to give Xbox gamers to let them know hey you still got something coming in the fall you still got something coming this year at all right i'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt that he's going to do that but it, it was simply the fact that there was nothing else there so who cares if the pandemic affected everybody a, a whole bunch of developers publishers use that reasoning i'm not saying it's a complete excuse sometimes i feel like it, it's an it's just a go to excuse you know i i get it but once again, others are finding out a way. So you have to figure out a way. That is your that is your job. Right? Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, Aesop. Oh, we we get it. Okay, like what is that? Aesop Aesop fables? The tortoise the, tur the the tortoise in the hair. Like what is this? What what are you what are you telling us? You're you're trying to sound so there, there are, there's this like segment of the industry of the gaming industry where it's like you have to be so nice and so kind and don't criticize, and, and, you know, and, and don't say anything, you know, that's opposing. You know, they, they, they handle them with kitty gloves, with children's gloves, like because let's be real a lot of these people and I, I think they call them checkmark twitter they're afraid to be real because of their pos the position they're in this person is an xbox ambassador and we're going to get to the criticism of that and let's be real she's what is it yeah marketing pr xbox mvp you know she does some other stuff with xbox she's not going to be the person to be critical of xbox let's be real she 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 would be terrified to actually criticize Xbox to the extent that they that they would need to be. So she's not that person. She's terrified to actually be, you know, ob objective about when something is a bad situation and give the proper critique for it. Right? And then four, he's only human. Really? He's he's only human. We had no idea that Phil Spencer was human. We thought he was an alien or or a predator or a terminator. A T100. That's what we thought. We had no we thought he was a well-oiled machine. We had no idea. Thank you for kindly informing us of that fact that he is only human. Matter of fact, I'm going to start using that that excuse on the job. My my full-time job, whenever my supervisor, my manager, who, the president, whoever, you know, of my company tells me, "Hey, you didn't get this done." Bro, I'm only human. What do you want me to do? Let's see how that how well that goes. Cuz Phil Spencer does have a boss too. He's high up there with the execs, but he has a boss too. So these excuses, nonsense. This is just her, you know, dancing and jucking and jiving to, you know, just just to like, you know, put herself in the good graces of the Xbox brand which she represents. That's all this is. This is nonsense that she wrote. And then Right. <laughs> Moving on to the next thing that happened after she put out, you know, this this terrible by the way, if she was a if she was a lawyer, she should be fired. This defense was terrible. Like you could come up with some with some actual like decent defenses for Phil Spencer and, and this delay. There are some out there. None of these are it. Not really. Like the best one she probably got here was maybe the pandemic. The rest of them horrible defenses if you were if you were my lawyer my attorney i would get you out of here these are horrible so the next thing that happened was i believe this is king thrash he went and looked up her uh her gamer score and it was revealed 
she don't play no games. She don't play no games. Like, don't play no games. Now, understand, we're not saying... So, so an ambassador is, you know, a person uh, who represents a brand or is a promoter of a brand. But you got to understand, if you're going to be a, a promoter of the brand or represent the brand, and you are and you are also going to comment, that's the most important thing here. If you're going to comment and make statements like these, but it's also shown that you don't play games, that shows to me that you don't actually understand the circumstances and the situation as to why people are being critical of this man. Because you don't play no games. If you don't play no games, how would you understand how some of these Xbox gamers or the, these gamers in general are feeling and are unhappy and displeased if you don't play no games? That don't make sense. Yeah, you can make a... Th that's why her statement feels so disconnected because she's not in it. She's not in the situation of, damn, I got this console and I'm looking forward to these first party games but there is none. She doesn't understand that because she doesn't play games. That's the important part of it because people on Twitter are making it to be everything else. No, you shouldn't have, have made a statement on this because you don't play games. You don't understand the situation with, of, of what people are, uh, are currently feeling and what they are currently in right now, right? So if, you, if you're going to make a statement like this, people have all the right in the world to check them credentials right they have all the right in the world to do that there's nothing wrong with what people are, are doing here that's called accountability people are already some people are already defending her white knighting her talking about oh you're harassing her no she put herself in this situation you made a statement that made no sense people went and checked you know, check your gamer score to see if you actually know what you're talking about and have knowledge on the situation. You clearly don't. And your card got pulled. That's called accountability. That's not that's not harassment. But that's that's the gate. That's the that's the check mark, you know, Twitter slash gaming journalist thing nowadays. When you get called out for 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 something that you're not qualified to talk about harassment, I'm being harassed. Help, please help being harassed no you're being held accountable you should have kept if she would have kept her mouth shut none of this would have happened none of it she would have went on living her life as a fraudulent xbox ambassador and nobody would have been none the wiser right and then of course the next step when somebody calls you out play victim it's 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 the classic move that they use over and over again play victim once you're called out, once you've been exposed, next, next move in the playbook, play victim immediately. She says, today is attack Diana day, huh? No, nobody's attacking you. You're being held accountable. You should have kept your mouth shut, like we said. She said, reminder, I don't have to be a hardcore gamer to be part of the Xbox community. You can be part of the Xbox family in many ways, like supporting others as a friend, answering forum questions, fighting for representation. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah. You, you see how she's skirting around the point? Her her gamer score is nine. Well, what was it? Ninety, not nine thousand one hundred and eighty-five. My gamer score is ninety-four hundred. I have a I have a higher ex, uh, gamer score than her. She's an Xbox ambassador. I'm primarily a PlayStation gamer. My gamer score is higher than her. That is insane. The only Xbox games I play are the first party ones that I care about. And that's, you know, that's some of them, you know, the, the y'all know the type of Xbox games I like, but a lot of their games I don't like. So I only play the good first party ones I like. My, my Xbox score, the guy that people call a pony, it, listen, and if you call me a pony, that's fine. But if you call me a pony, and my and you don't see a problem with her as an Xbox ambassador 
having a lower gamer score than a pony, some, then, then you're just clearly just in denial and, and purposely not trying to see the bigger picture here. It's, it's weird and it's fraudulent. Like, where is, where is that? I, I know I tweeted it out. Uh, my gamer score next to hers. Where is it? I tweet so damn much. Look at that picture. That's funny. Somebody edited that. Uh, where the hell is it? Can't freaking find it. I, tw I tweet too damn much, probably. I retweet stuff too, da too damn much. We're we going to find it. I think we almost there. Did I pass it? That was 16 hours ago. I tweeted it out this morning. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. The point is, yeah, y'all seen y'all seen my gamer score, and hers is is lower. And then, I believe this is King Thrash again. He he looked up, and y'all could check this. I'm not gonna play the audio, but he checked one of her videos. She talked about like playing Quake on Xbox and how much she she love she loves Quake and all that stuff and the time she put in in Quake. And then when you check her gamer score once again, she has like 30 minutes in Quake. When she when she said she played it for hours and she loves it so much and it's reminiscent, lying, frauding, like, and then just going back to um, her continued statement, right? She said, "I don't get a chance to play a lot of the games because I am working full time, run three communities, uh, host events for local Xbox family outside of my own pocket, uh, work with organization, just a whole bunch of excuses." encourage diversity, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, you shouldn't be an Xbox ambassador. I'm not gonna represent something if I'm not actually going to be in it, right? Y'all know I'm partnered, I'm partnered with Gamer Advantage glasses, right? This is the only partnership I have with this channel. And I actually wear these glasses. Y'all see me wear these glasses usually when I live stream. I'm not wearing them right now because I don't need them. But when I live stream, when I'm playing games, I wear these glasses. I was wearing Gamer Advantage glasses two years. You can go back in my in my videos prior, like, you know, years ago, and I'm wearing these glasses. And I'm wearing them because I actually believe in the product. I wore them two years before I was even partnered with them. So I stand by the product and I know the product actually works. Imagine if I just partnered with, 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 this, with this brand and I don't even wear glasses. And I was telling you how great the glasses are. I have no idea. Never even tried them. Never, never, never used them. Never had them. Don't even wear glasses. Nobody sees nothing wrong with that. Like I said, like, it's like I said on Twitter. This is the equivalent to like being an ambassador for Colgate, but you don't brush your teeth. And then when there's a topic about like the when there's a topic, a conversation about Colgate, you got the most to say. You making a whole bunch of a bunch of excuses for Colgate. You don't even use Colgate. You don't even brush your teeth. That don't make no sense. How can you represent a product you don't even, you're not in? That's, and, and that's, that's the problem with like all this posing. It's all about imagery, right? It's, it's all about, they care more about the optics than somebody actually being in and taking part in, in their ecosystem. Not, and, and like Kid Smooth, Kid Smooth literally said that he, has been, apparently he was in the Xbox program and he was denied or he was, you know, or he was never admitted into it. Either way, because of one of these reasons stated here, Kidsmove is not in the Xbox ambassador program. And you know Kidsmove is like one of the biggest Xbox fans out there. And they got her who don't even play games in it, but he's not. So they care more about the optics of things more than they actually do about the implementation of act and actually getting people who are enthusiastic about about Xbox. Because I could clearly be an Xbox ambassador. I could probably sign up and become a, a, an ambassador. And you, you know, and all that stuff about oh, allowing everybody. Listen, not like this participation trophy stuff is nonsense. Like I, once again, this is not about having the the highest trophy score. Nobody's asking you to have the highest trophy score. That's 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 not the problem. Nobody's saying you got to have the highest trophy score. But when you once again, when you get down to here, she says, um, a, high, a high a high gamer score isn't a requirement for an ambassador. Nor does it mean I don't get games. I don't play that much, but I watch my partner who's clocked a hundred hours on his Xbox. 
What? If somebody tells you, if, if somebody accuses you of not playing games and your response is, I've watched my partner play hundreds of hours, you don't play games. Because somebody who actually plays a decent amount of, like a decent amount of games is gonna be like, no, I actually play. One of the worst things you could say is no, I watched somebody. Excuse me, you watch somebody? That, that's, that's what you wanna use to like give yourself some credit? That's, that's it, that's where you wanna go to? Okay, weird, weird, that's, that's, that's that only exposes yourself even more. And then she makes it worse. She makes it worse in the next paragraph. She says, finally, I've never said I love Xbox because of their games. You mean to tell me you representing the brand, you're an Xbox ambassador, and you're telling me you don't even love Xbox because of their games? The, the main point in gaming is games? And that's not even what you're here for? That's not what you're into? I've always loved Xbox because of, because of what they do for everyone. Their custom can just come by ya nonsense. Uh, and their custom controller designs and the number one reason, the community. Oh my, this kumbaya nonsense. This is, and this is the, the problem we've said and why we need to gatekeep and check credentials because a lot of people are, in, are into, are, a lot of people are into being in the gaming atmosphere, but not actually gaming. They wanna be in the world. They wanna be in the universe. They wanna be in the community, but they don't actually wanna participate in the activity of gaming. They don't care about the activity of gaming. They just think it's it's cool like it's like this little, you know, oh, I want to be I want to be a part of that even though I'm not actually into it, but it's it's the gaming is now seen seen as the cool thing to do. It's the cool kids table and you just want to sit at the cool kids table. You don't actually want to participate in in the activity that everybody's uh, you know, actually participating in. It's weird. It's weird. And then she, she just goes on to say that a whole bunch of fluff. It's just a whole bunch of fluff, bro. And then what's funny is Jeff Grubb. Now, I don't have a problem with Jeff Grubb. I like I, I like Jeff Grubb. Like, I like, you know, I, I followed him on Twitter. Um, I hear his opinions on, on, like, videos and stuff like that when he, I think he has his own channel and he goes on other people's channel. I like Jeff Grubb. But he blocked me, right? Uh, a few um, a few months ago, he blocked me for this, right? This was uh, remember when X like Aaron Greenberg and a whole bunch of the Xbox dudes they were talking about uh, you know VG charts and stuff like that, and they were suddenly you know uh, uh, um, you know promoting VG charts and championing championing it when VG charts when he has a record uh, Aaron Greenberg has a record of saying VG charts is inaccurate, right now. A whole bunch of dudes, including Jeff Grubb, suddenly, you know, are pro VG charts. And what I said was, just I said, I said th this improvement is convenient timing because he said I've noticed improvement at VG charts, and I think it's a tool worth considering. And and prior to this, I didn't hear about any of them, you know, actually, uh, you know, being pro VG charts. So I was like, where did this come from? It's con I said it's pretty much convenient timing that y'all y'all think VG charts is, is suddenly so act so much more accurate now that Xbox is doing well and that's what I that's all I said and he blocked me for that it's weird it's weird listen all I said is is it's convenient and then he unblocks me because apparently he get, he sees this the tweet that I the tweet that I said. An Xbox ambassador admitting she doesn't even play games. This is insane. Literally just posing and pretending to be a part of gaming. And then he wants to white knight come to her, you know, come to her defense. A grown man who gets upset about someone being called an Xbox ambassador pathetic. And they don't get it. No, for one, I wasn't upset, as I said. I wrote this tweet and went exa and, and fell asleep five minutes later. <laughs> so I definitely wasn't upset. It's the principle of the matter that you got a whole bunch of frauds who don't who are in positions and are included in certain circles that they don't deserve to be in. Like there are just like the journalists, the Forbes journalists, right? The Forbes, there, there was a Forbes journalist. He was literally exposed. He literally admitted, right? This Forbes journalist admitted 
that he was writing clickbait clickbait articles for traffic, money, views, clout, all that stuff. He admitted it in this in his long old thread. And you got people who are, you know, just killing the integrity. There's not much integrity left of gaming, um, gaming journalism, but people are killing it. And there are people, the, the biggest thing to me about this, there are people who actually deserve to be in these positions. There are people that deserve to be in these positions. And you got these, these people who, who have these positions and are not taking it seriously, who are literally abusing it. And it's a joke. That's the problem. There's just no integrity. There's, you know, people don't take it serious. When your job is honestly to be accurate and informational, and they're not doing neither one of those things. They're not doing neither one of those things. But, you know, Jeff Grubb is, is mad at me for that. Uh, no big deal. What, uh, what are you mad at? What are you mad at? When you, block, when you block me simply because I said five words to you, but I'm the one that's upset. And just to defend this woman, you unblock me just to get that off. But once again, going through all that, but I'm the one that's upset. A little weird to me. Seems like you're the one that's upset. But like, once again, I don't got a problem with Jeff Grubb. I like the guy. I don't see why he's so mad. Like, I don't, I don't know what his problem is. Like, why are you even defending this? This woman, I don't know, maybe he knows her, maybe it's personal, maybe there's something personal there. It's weird because he's never tweeted, prior to this, he's never tweeted me before. Never, right? So it's, it's a little odd. This is, this is the thing that, that just motivates you to, to tweet me. It's, it's weird. Um, but like I said, I don't got a problem with him. He, he apparently has the problem uh, with me. But, you know, like when you call stuff out on Twitter, you know, and in this community, it, you, you become the bad guy. They try to, you know, villainize you. You're the bad person. You know, it, like I said, uh, uh, it's, they make it that you're attacking and harassing somebody. Not, not that you, oh, you're holding this person accountable for the things they say and making sure that they're actually in qualified position and have the qualified knowledge to say that. No, you're attacking and harassing them. Like, stop this nonsense. Stop trying to spin it into how I've, I've read the tweets. I haven't now maybe it has happened, but I haven't seen it. I haven't seen nobody like call her out or call her out of her name, threaten her, nothing like I have not seen it. But because somebody put a little pressure on you and holding you accountable, oh it's it's harassment. Like, come on, bro. Stop it. Yeah, you know, cut cut it out. Cut it out. So it's I think they need I do think they need to tighten up the, the requirements for, you know, being an Xbox ambassador. I just think they do not. Once again, not saying you got to have the highest gamer score, but bro, you got to like you like I know when people apply to be like gaming, you know, journalists or write about games, they do at least test your knowledge or, you know, require you to have some expertise a, a little bit in like these games or in or knowledge of the industry, something, you know, so this really and, and, it, and it's it, it's it's so weird because like there's there's a lot of uh, how do you put this? There's a lot of infiltrators in, in the in the industry that have this fo have amassed this following that they don't deserve and I'm not jealous like I'm honestly not but they amass this following simply because they have this clean image see let me this this woman who we know is clearly not a a real like gamer like that one she's a woman she's uh you know that does play a part in it I'm not like saying oh you're a woman so you're just going to get this mass following but we all we know there there is this thing where some guys, they'll see uh, a girl. Oh, my God, it's a girl gaming. I'm going to follow her. There's some people that there's some there's a there's a good amount of guys that do that. Right. And you have this image of you're not what they see as toxic. You're non problematic. Oh, you just promote happiness, you know, uh, rainbows and butterflies and all that stuff. You know, that 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 fake positivity. That's what she she she's a she's a positivity pu uh, peddler. That's what she sells. She sells positively. Po positivity a positivity peddler that's what that's that's her merchant that that's that's literally her her items that's her merchandise and that's how they get these type of followers 
because it's not from gaming, clearly, not from gaming. It's not really from talking about, um, it's not really from talking about games. It's an image. It's an illusion. That's all it is. It's just an illusion. That's how they, that's how they get this. And they keep this illusion up until, unfortunately, like her, she gets exposed. So, yeah, this is, this was just the next thing, um, in the, <laughs> the next thing in the, <laughs> the, the Xbox, um, chronicles, I guess, that is just a bad look for them. Just, just, it's just a bad look. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a bad look, man. Like, it's, it's weird. Like, come on, bro. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta tighten up. This is why we be talking about gatekeeping and checking credentials and, and all that stuff. You 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 don't have to you know be this this gamer that knows everything and plays everything. But what you say has to line up with what you do. Okay, like listen, if I go to the sneaker community right now, because there's a there's a sneaker community, and apparently I've heard they're more they're more savage than than the gaming community. You go into the the sneaker head community and you start talking about something and and when you're clearly and you claim you're a sneaker head and then they, they you know they they check you you know they check you and they and it and it gets revealed like yo you ain't you ain't no sneaker head oh they going to get you out of there they going to get you out of there it's 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 like that with communities it's like that with anything if you claim to be something that you're not people are going to get you out of there because people who are really thorough and really in it, they can see through that. They can see through it. So they're going to pull your card and they're going to call you out. And that's all it is. But, you know, you got a whole lot of simps. Oh, she's a she's a woman. And, uh, you know, she doesn't she she met she manages three communities and she has a job. So what? I have a job. I have a full time job. I don't do YouTube full time. I have plenty of people. There's people around here got kids. There's people with three, four kids, got a full time job, and still be and still be, you know, playing these games. She don't got no excuse. Once again, she should have sat there, shut up, not tweeted anything, and then things would have been fine. You only run into problems when you pretend to be something that you're not. That's it. So I'm gonna end it right there. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um, <laughs> just funny out here. And there's, you know, there's the Xbox Civil War going on too. So it's, you know, it's it's crazy shit going on right now in the Xbox community, man. It's it's wild out here. So let me know what y'all think about this. I'll catch y'all on another on the next video. I'm out. Peace.